Hello, hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Um, today we're going to do unboxing the MI electric scooter Pro Boot. Um, actually, my wife gifted me this um, today uh, on a special occasion. So, as soon as I got it, I thought I wanted to make an unboxing video because um, you don't find uh, that many unboxing videos of MI electric scooter in, on YouTube or the other channels. So, I thought I wanted to make it myself. So, uh, I'm really excited to open this a bit. I've been trying to buy this for quite some time now. Uh, now it is important that you know I, I get this scooter and you know like maybe she gifted this uh, on a special day. So um, so let's jump in. So let's let's walk you through the process uh, of uh, how to set up the MI electric scooter Pro 2. And she has also ordered a couple of gadgets along with it. So I'm really excited. Uh, let's jump into the video. Right. So. I'm sorry I, I couldn't shoot the, the previous one where I opened the box, it's mainly because I had it on a different uh, angle so it didn't capture quite well. So I'm sorry, I just uh, I just uh, re-put the stuff back again so I'm re-shooting it again for you guys. And apologize for the lens and the lens is wide lens because this, this is quite big box so it doesn't come in a smaller frame so that's why I have to zoom it out. Um, right, so, uh, so I've just opened it up so you have instructions right here. So uh, you need to remove the scooter. Uh, take out the electric scooter, how you're gonna fasten that uh, the handlebar and attach the handlebar to the steam um, and then tighten it to the screw. So here it is, so this is how it looks as soon as you open it up. So you have this handlebar right here. And yeah, and you have well it looks pretty neat and but the build of it it's it's pretty premium built. So I think that's that's the power button. You have a bell right here and that's the mode that you can use it to change the speed level and that's how you accelerate so uh, let me move the stuff away before I take the whole set so here this is the box and here you have this uh, screwdriver as well as the screws which we will be fitting it in to tighten the, the handlebar and here's the user manual for it um, here are the standard user manual with safety instructions, so I'll probably read that out later on. Okay, and what do we have here? So we have, uh, this is probably, we're going to be using it to tighten the brakes, I guess. And that's the uh, charger, and that's the, uh, for the power. Right, so then we need this. Okay, this is heavy. Uh, I'm not gonna lie to you guys, this is heavy, so um, I think it's gonna be hard to carry over. But you can fold it and keep it in your car or in your storeroom somewhere, but for the daily commute, I don't know whether um, it's gonna be easy to fold it and just carry it over. Uh, maybe you can push it over, but this, this bottom part right here, this is super heavy. Okay, so let me move the boxes again. So 
walks away, so I can try to sell it. Okay, the tire has come in a pretty neat packing, so let me try and open it up. Okay, the tire probably looks pretty good. You can see it's. Uh, Oh, you got a tube in it as well, so I guess you have to pull some air into it. Okay. Good, so let's try and set up the rest of the scooter. It comes along with a, uh, already a back tire, so I think what they gave is an additional tire just in case it goes or something. So, uh, so what, the first thing what we need is we need to uh, set up this one so you could stand and Okay, so we have a stand, so now the bike can balance itself, so what we have to do is set this up. So we need the screws that came along with the screwdriver, with the help of the screwdriver, we'll try and set it up. So let me fix this in place first. I don't know, you can see this right here, so let me just bring the bike to this place. We have in, in this scooter ride, as you pretty amazing, and also it's got the... Uh, can convert the kinetic energy to uh, electrical energy again so that when you break the scooter it converts that force into the kinetic energy into uh, charge again so it's, it's pretty you know it, it's a kind of like a self-sustainable scooter i really like the build uh, the height is also pretty good so i'm i'm um, I'm 5'11", so for my height it looks pretty good, and I think you also have a adjustment here. You can adjust the height of this this stem stem part. So let me try and set up the bicycle. Let me just screw it up uh, with, with the screws which they given it up. So let me do that. Places where you will not be able to, uh, you know, cruise in the scooter. Um, things like you know the, the elevators or um, the, the uh, lifts, and so they do not allow the, the, the scooter. So in that case, you have to fold it and put it aside. So uh, that's the only place where you might have some problem to lift this heavy guy. So this is pretty heavy, right? So you might as well just keep it as it is. And then just push it aside in the in the lift and, and use it right uh, only for I think the the, the folding part of this uh, cycle is mainly for uh, storage purpose only so it's not like you can just carry it over and use it um, so um, that's something you have to be mindful about because this is heavy now once we uh, tighten up the handlebar the next thing what we're gonna do is we're gonna open the download the application and uh, we'll try and set up it and turn it on so, okay so put it on here 
here. Still go one more round for tightening it up, but I like to keep it a little loose. So but that's what this is fine. Oh okay, I think I got an extra screw. Am I missing something or this is just extra? No, that's just an extra screw. So let me save it. Okay, so this is done. This is also done. Okay, good. And uh, I think we just need to um, set up in the mobile application. So uh, let me download the application and I'll show you how we get connected. So before I uh, connect it to the mobile application, I thought um, I'll just connect it to the charge and turn it on. And, and make sure it's got enough charge. So I don't know um, how much charge will be left in this, but um, I'll just try and uh, connect it to the power source and power it on while I try and get connected to uh, the mobile application. So this is the I think I this is the socket that goes as you know to the power source, and this is where it goes inside the uh, the scooter. So the place for the charge is right here. Okay, as you can see, so you put it on charge. Uh, the red light is on on the charger. So let me put it aside. 